everybody. Welcome back. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by today to see it, my latest journal. Uh, as you all know, I've taken the Nick the Booksmith's course, and um, little by little I've been working on that on the side in between my other journals. And this is my latest one to complete. Um, this is using some Tim Holtz fabric um, over the hardcover and it's measures it's about gosh six by eight and a half and you've got about a two and a quarter inch spine um, very chunky this is five inches <laughs> um, three signatures a lot of writing space but um, the cover, you've got the Tim Holtz fabric. This is some vintage trim that's been tea dyed. Some canvas, um, an image from the Tim Holtz paper collection, and then I've come back over and fussy cut um, some butterflies and added that so you've got a lot of dimension. So I just thought it really needed something, and that really has made it pop. And then here I've added one of the um, Tim Holtz uh, tokens, and I, that's why I've named this Wonder, um, a journal through nature, <coughs> through nature is what I've called this one. Um, here I've attempted my little um, tassel, and then I've put a little butter butterfly metal charm to it. Really like how that's come out. I think the colors complement it. That's sorry silk mixed in with some um, scrap from. Um, a scarf I'm dissecting. As you guys know, I love to take things apart. Um, the closure is sorry silk. It's that variegated, which is just beautiful. I love the colors. They're very soft and subtle. So going inside, as I said, it's three signatures. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head how many pages, but that'll be um, in the listing if you want to know more. Uh, specifics on you know what's in there. I've not counted how many tags but there's a lot. Um, what I did here is a coin envelope. There's nothing in it so I'm not going to undo it just because we've got so much to get through. And then I've just added this with some sorry silk and that's some uh, Irish linen thread, thread that's holding that. Um, I've got a massive mix of papers and collections. I will try to put um, links below to the ones um, and there's a lot of inspiration behind this journal. It's a collaboration of many talented ladies um, that I follow so I will put who inspired me and then I will try to put as many kits as I can think of. Um, obviously this is Tracy um, Fox. I love that kit so I've used a lot of that and then there's some other ones. So I've just got a nice mix of journaling cards here, and that's um, I've created another little pocket with that tag. Lots of digital papers, scrapbooking papers, uh, lots of vintage trim. There's a tuck spot there. I've tried to line everything. Uh, that was white. I've backed it um, so there is no white in this. Um, lots of vintage um, pages from various flower books, horticulture books. Um, here I've done a collage tag and this is some of the 49th and Market um, papers. I've still got some of that I'm using and then I've collaged here. Um, <clears throat> I've done some stamping on muslin, backing it onto vintage lace, and then backing it again on more muslin. So um, I'm really, really thrilled with how this has come out. I had in my mind how I wanted the journal to be, um, and I am really pleased with how it's come out because I didn't want it to be very dark. You guys know I'm not a fan of... Um, I appreciate it and other people, but it's not my style, so I tried to brighten up um, the nature theme. This is another 
book page. I did a stamp on there and then I backed it and it says just when the caterpillar thought the world was over it became a butterfly. Here is um, just a, another journal card, some vintage lace that went really well. Um, obviously Tim Holtz paper. This is another um, little um, tag that I've recently got and I will put this lady below if you're interested in her kit. Um, here I've done, um, it's one of the 6x9 envelopes. I've backed it with some beautiful papers I've recently purchased. Very nature themed. Did some stitching on a double pocket. <clears throat> added this little tiny envelope and a tag and then this is some vintage trim I've come across which I love. I love that teal. Um, this has all been tea, uh, tea dyed, yeah. Uh, so, this is more vintage book page, um, vintage music sheet. This is tea dyed tracing paper. Uh, lots of collaging going in here. And then I've just done a flip up so that you could do some writing on the back of that. You could add something else here if you wanted. I love these papers. Uh, more lined paper here, uh, another little tuck spot, another collage uh, journal card for you with an eyelet and some um, Irish um, linen thread. Did a lot of collaging in this, which was really fun. Um, this, I'm thrilled to show you guys, um, this is some handmade paper. And I just love the impressions in this. So I've included a sheet of this in each signature, and you'll see because they vary in color and texture. Um, but isn't that? It's just it's lovely, lovely paper. Here I've done a little tuck spot here with some more journal cards. That's just some lined paper that's been um, tea dyed, and when I stitched that in, this is the center of the signature. This, um, I did some layering with some muslin, some more cardstock, and then this is a page from a vintage um, flower book I've got. And then here I've just lined with some um, digital paper that I had left over so that you've got some writing space there and it's kind of secret. And then this is another of the um, vintage book pages, that beautiful image. So you can see there's a lot of writing space, but um, still a lot of pockets in here. That's the back of the handmade paper. Um, here I've done a double tuck spot, and then I've just included various things. This is um, another little tuck spot there. This is uh, some of the craft paper I've stitched into a pocket. And then I did another collage uh, tag that's inside. And then this is uh, more stamping on the muslin layered up with various um, laces and, you know, from my collection. Here's some more of that uh, vintage music sheet. Another page from the book. And then here's another little um, tuck spot. And then I've done some little phrases throughout the journal, you'll see. And then inside I've just done, um, this is a little journal card. And then this I've just done some collaging and stamping with some, um, a doily that um, I've got that I've dissected. <laughs> so that's in that little pocket. Um, this is some of um, Tracy Fox's collage paper. I've included that. Some more of the vintage flower book. Um, this is tea dyed um, ledger sheet. Um, this is another um, digital image I've printed and then backed it with some lined. Here's another little tuck spot in that grid paper. And then this is a um, triple pocket here. I didn't put anything in it because, as I said, it's it's so full already. 
But you've got one big pocket here, another tuck there, and then another one there, and it's all um, nature-themed ephemera. This is a old garden guide with a family kitchen garden, and then I. So everything in here, I've I've been really um, selective so that everything is um, garden and nature themed. Um, well, with the exception of this, I suppose. This is a freebie from Nick the Booksmith, so if you like that one, um, go to her site and you can find that. I won't be putting the link below for that, but it's easy enough to find. Um, here's another little collaged tag, and then I just use some of the Tim Holtz um, <coughs> flowers. Some little trim um, for a tab. Here, uh, lots of collaging. I've got the um, Tracy Fox paper, then I've done Tim Holtz with some vintage trim, and then another of Tim Holtz flowers I thought fit that really nice, so I've just tucked this one in there. Another uh, horticulture uh, book page. This is a um, envelope, and I've just left the top open so you could tuck some things in there. This is an index card. Edith Holden um, book page. And then here I've done <coughs> a double pocket on a coin envelope. So, so you've got room to put something in there. Um, various tags. I've stamped. I've sewn. I've um, so that's in this one, and then you've got another place here, another little tuck spot. Um, and I love these. Um, everything is uh, garden themed, as I said. I love those definitions on those tags. Beautiful. Here's another vintage book page. Some more of that beautiful teal trim. I don't know if it's showing up in camera, but it is so, so pretty. And then I've just tucked an extra one of the little journal tags in there and then this is another little envelope you could put something in. This is an old uh, typed um, book I picked up a while back so I've stitched that up. Um, and then here, isn't that paper beautiful? I love that. And then this is one of my um, tea bag art pockets and this one I've made so that it is a double pocket so you can tuck something in the back and then this little tag is just tucked in the tea bag so lots of collaging on there as you can see and then here we've got a nice big pocket you can put some things in um, this is some more of the uh, handmade paper. Uh, this one is just a, like a tea dyed, so it's really, really pretty paper. Love the feel of that. Um, here I've done a little altered paper clip, and then um, there's another little journal card. Just pin that in there. This paper. I love that. I like the fact that it's just um, very plain because you've got so much other color going on. I thought it complemented it nice. Um, here's the center of the signature. I've just put um, various tags in here that have been stamped. That one's been left plain and that one's just got a little butterfly on it. So that's a double pocket on that. And some more of the handmade paper. Another uh, lace tab. This is just a, a belly band that's been sewn in. It's been doubled up. So, And then I've included this um, little floating pocket. And I've tucked that behind. So you could move that anywhere in the journal that you wanted. Let's just show you a close-up of that paper. It is just beautiful. I love teal. Teal and purple are probably my favorite colors. Well, I like green as well, but those are, yeah, 
teal, purple, and green, I suppose. Um, here, <clears throat> that's the back of that old typed out um, book I told you I had. I've made a, um, a double pocket. Uh, tuck spot here. This little one you can tuck something behind it and then this one um, and then I did some um, trim here with multiple um, journal cards and then these are um, Tracy's little um, she calls them tea cards and then I've done a little tab so that sticks in. I love how that's come out. So pretty. Um, another of the book pages here, <clears throat> this tag's got a lot going on. It's a sorry silk. I've done stamping, distressing, and then I've taken muslin and stamped on it. So that's the background, and then I've layered up the Tim Holtz images, as you can see. So that's a really pretty tag. Lots going on with that. I love this. This paper's got, <clears throat> it's, it's a purple <clears throat> design, sorry. And I think it just really makes the journal pop. Here's another of those. Um, it's like a monthly calendar tag. And then I've done a double pocket here with more vintage trim. And then this is another of Tracy's little tea cards. And then these are more garden ephemera. I love those. Just tiny and so pretty. Um, that's the back of the Edith Hold, and I like it because it's got the beautiful flowers on here, and you've got some writing space. Here's that other envelope, so you can put something in it, and it's a window one, so whatever you want, you can put through there, and you can see um, more horticulture book page. Um, this pocket, I've done a little tuck spot here, and this is one of Tracy's seed packets. So I've just tucked that in behind, but look at that paper. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. It's like a, a really light um, teal color. And then here I've done um, a place for you to journal here. I've done some layering and stamping, and then I've backed it with um, tea dye paper. So you can do journaling on the back of that one as well. See how we are on time. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry up, guys, because we're running out of time on here. <clears throat> Some tracing paper. Um, this one, oh, I love that tag. I think it's so pretty. That's another of those little horticulture, and I've done lots of stitching on that one. Um, so you could you could do some journaling on the back. And then this one's got um, several things going on here. I got a little, another little seed packet. I did not glue this one because I thought you might want to use for journaling. Um, and then this is another of the freebies from um, Nick the Booksmith, which I love. It's a little luggage tag and I just glued it in, but then I kept this end open so that you've got another little, it fits the little uh, shipping tags perfectly. So I that was really sweet. So you've got three little pockets on that one. Okay, last signature. Um, love this page. Um, this is a altered guest check, and I've done a lot. I've done some trim, um, sorry silk, a little phrase, the tea card, and multiple layers of um, cardstock. So I've tucked that in there, and you can do journaling on the back of that as well. <clears throat> That's some more digital paper. I love that. Everything is just totally botanical, so it's it's coordinated nicely. Um, this is the only thing that's not. Uh, this is a sheet from that. I've got a vintage um, typewriting manual, and I put that in because I just think it's a really nice um, book page. Um, here I've got a pocket that's been layered with muslin and um, scrapbooking paper lace, and then I've uh, taken some of the um, fabric fabric uh, ribbon and then I've stitched that and then just pinned this and this is just a little flower and that's been stamped and then this one I've just uh, layered up some of that really pretty uh, scrapbooking paper I've got on top of a, a vintage um, script card and then I've taken one of Tracy's little bitty tags and layered that, and I thought that really went nice. 
So more paper to write. Um, here, um, another pa um, page I'm, I really love. I've doubled up um, these different tags <clears throat> in here. I've left a place so you can put something. I love that outdoors. And then behind, you can. Now, you, you can't put anything behind there because it's all been stitched. And then I've stamped this image, so you can see that. Edith Holden book page um, with some of the drawings. I love her pages. And then here's just, this has all been tea dyed. It's grid paper. And then on this, um, this is an old book page. I don't know. This is, goes way, way back. Uh, but it's still in very sturdy condition. So, but what I did on the back here, I, I took a, another book page um, and I've glued it completely down because of it being kind of a fragile page. Um, I didn't want to risk any, anybody tearing that. So this just more collaged, um, stitched tags. And then that's another of Tracy's. And then this is another of the little... Um, oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I'm, my brain, I'm tired. Um, just another little tuck spot, sorry. <clears throat> Tracing paper that's been tea dyed, and then this, look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's some of that handmade paper I told you guys, and I love it. I love having the, this in my journal. It just feels really nice. It's just beautiful. I could never, never create it. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to be putting this in the shop if it, if anyone's interested. Um, these will be added to the shop very soon. Um, here is another double pocket. Lots of stitching again. Um, with a little library card and another tiny tag. And then I've done some collaging here. With some cheesecloth. That's um, Irish linen thread. And then one of the Tim Holtz images. Another of the flower pages. Here I've done a um, like a double tag and then I've just had some extra of the handmade paper. I just tore that and I just collaged it front and back and then tucked it over there. So you could you could stick something up in there. It would hold it, I'm sure. Um, this is a handmade envelope. I, mean, I forgot to mention that. This is all handmade paper as well. Um, I've not put anything in these because, like I said, I wanted to leave plenty of room for you to add your own things to it. And here's another big pocket. Um, love that paper. Isn't that beautiful? The colors are just so pretty. Um, here I've put some, this is some old vintage trim I've come across. And that matched really nicely with the green. And then this is my um, center of the signature. Beautiful papers. Um, sorry, I'm trying to be careful. I don't bother that front. Here I've done a, um, this is a, the center. That's an envelope I've tweaked with some uh, cardstock. And then I've made a, a pocket at the top so that you could have these. I've not stamped on these, so these are plain. You can do lots of writing on those. But there you go. Okay, and nearly done, guys. This is the um, this has all been backed with um, tea dyed paper, and this is one of the Anna Griffith pockets. There, that's the back of the handmade um, envelope. Some more of that beautiful paper. Another of the vintage book pages. This is for someone who absolutely loves flowers. Now this is a floating pocket again. Um, you've got pocket here and journaling space on the back. And I've layered it with uh, vintage trims. I just tucked that one in there. Some more of this handmade paper. I love that. Um, There's our crinkly um, tracing paper. And... This is another, the Edith Holden page. Um, here's another double pocket. 
And that's a collaged tag I've made. And these are just some little journaling cards I had in my stash. So that's just a, one of the little Tim Holtz things with some trim. Here is a manila envelope I've altered and uh, tucked that in there. So you've got a nice, yeah, double pocket there. So that's great. Got more places there. Here's a nice big one. I want you guys to see that paper. I love that collection. Nice big pocket there. And that's that other, uh, the typewriting manual. <coughs> it's very old. Um, here I've done a, um, this is not my idea, I'll put the link below to where I was inspired by this, but I've created a pocket here and I backed it with that beautiful paper so you could see it and then obviously you can, you can have a tag or something down in there, more um, vintage book page and just various writing pieces from my, you know, that were left over, I didn't want to waste so I've just tucked those in there and then this is all you can stick something in the back of that one as well, and then I've tied it um, closed. So it's, it's kind of like a little secret writing space. And this is the back of the journal. Um, so there you go, guys. It's huge. I loved making it. I hope you've enjoyed watching today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.